you know, fake IDs, certainly they're not new here in Minnesota, but they're becoming more and more sophisticated. Right over here is a box of IDs that uh, Rounders has confiscated probably in the last year. Um, and also all these in recent weeks, um, when I say confiscated, these are IDs that have been altered, fake, or, you know, just handoffs and things like that. Um, we get right around 35 a month. Um, unfortunately, far too many people who are underage have access to alcohol. In a recent 2015 Minnesota College Student Health Survey, 56% of the 18 to 20 year olds who were surveyed said that they had consumed alcohol in the last 30 days. 26.5% said that they had consumed five or more drinks at one time. The average estimated blood alcohol content for those people was 0.08%. And even more astoundingly, in the state of Minnesota alone, in the last five years, uh, 7,900 13 to 20 year olds have gotten a DWI. And those are just the ones who were caught. And there were more. So obviously you can see people who are underage are accessing alcohol. And we know that fake IDs is one of the main ways that they do that. So our message is clear. People who are underage and have access to alcohol are risking life-changing consequences and we need the help of all the establishments and the employees in the state of Minnesota who serve alcohol to help us stop what are very preventable tragedies. The culture of underage drinking has really changed over the years and, and from a safety aspect, that's one of the main reasons why we wanna keep underage consumers out of the, the liquor establishments. There's a reason why underage consumption and being in a bar underage is illegal. Um, you really add in people that, that shouldn't be in the establishment to begin with and it really just changes the dynamic and the safety aspect of, of the establishment. So again, to commend Ryan and his staff, and, and again, we, we strive to work with the, the bars and the, the, the bouncers and the staff that are really closest to the problem. If you Google the driver's license state security features, um, that's how a lot of my staff catches those fake IDs as they go on that website, look for the features on there that will separate a real from a fake. Um, and things like that. Um, I work very well with my staff on keeping minors out of here. Um, it's important and it's their job. Um, you know, their job is to protect this bar and protect the customers that are in here. When you talk about the technologies and as Terry mentioned, the, the overseas technology where a lot of these IDs are being made, uh, you know, that technology is advanced but yet there are still ways, that human element, that is what is catching a lot of these IDs coming through. So for the owners of those establishments, we need your help in educating, training, and holding accountable your employees to make sure that they help in not serving alcohol to people who are underage. There are criminal penalties, civil penalties, as well as the moral challenges of knowing that something occurred at your establishment. And to the employees of those establishments, please don't look the other way. Please be diligent in your efforts to stop people from using fake IDs and know that the state of Minnesota has a law that says it's okay for you to seize those fake IDs from those people.